Hello everybody, Anthony here from the Hammer Game Channel and welcome back to my Diamond Federation playthrough where today hoping to take out the Italians because oh boy are we marching north. Here we come. Here we come. Improved anti tank upgrades. We could go ahead and rush that, but I did say we we're gonna do this. 220 days until infantry from a three. And it's gonna be probably about a year early, which is gonna be really good for us. But um, Reds, when you have your organization and position, we are going north. Because we're trying to link up now with our forces in the north, which makes sense. Then that's us gonna have our combined 61 divisions going at them. Although it's gonna be the absolute death stack. So we'll probably take the 13 and do a naval invasion of Marseille and Toulon. And hopefully, the French Republic will actually want some strategic reasons to be hostile. Why do you have strategic reasons to be hostile? What do I control that they want? Nothing, really. That that's what. Absolutely nothing. Oh, those oh, those uh, those guys are in position. We're trying to punch through here. All twenty-six divisions. Well, <clears throat> those are fortifications. So that's that will actually be good. If we can get through them. Uh, what's air dominance like? Germany, I kind of do want to divert my planes away. Well, actually, I want to stop you guys from doing anything. And I actually do want to divert. Germany can deal with their own territory themselves. I'm going to try and deal with the Italians. Come on, they, they do have my support. It's not like I'm not letting them hang out to dry at this point. I could have. I could have invaded them. But then I would have taken down the Third International basically by myself. Which would have been flipping disastrous. Well, saying that, I would have had the Entente. And then again, the Russians would eventually come for me as well. They will probably still come for me. Oh, wow. White Rathida's just gone. Far East Direction. Oh, Japan. Japan. They might actually go after Transmur. They might actually go for Transmur. To be honest, they could do any of this because they did go ahead and actually make a Chinese puppet. Now, I did say at the end of the last episode, if they didn't give this over, I was going to go ahead and do that myself because that is some hella bad border gore. And right now, the game doesn't actually look too bad. Well, Asia kind of... Asia's kind of a mess. But Europe... Europe's quite nice for once. Let's just keep it that way. Where are the Reds? I'm sorry, am I blind? Where are the Reds? Oh, they're all there. Why are you all there? You absolutely... I was going to say, I was like, are they, have they lagged out? That's the yellows. Can you just concentrate yourselves back over there? We're actually probably going to get you in an offensive. We might actually get some of the greens to, offend, to push on the offensive as well. So we, we are coming. We, we are really coming for them. You and Iceland just capitulated. Okay. Poland, how many divisions you actually got? You have 25 divisions. It may actually be worthwhile calling in my allies or taking control of divisions. Yeah, I should probably take over that control of the divisions because that is going to give me a lot more divisions. And again, but imagine finding out. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, yeah, guys, can you can you please all just focus on in there? And can you guys actually get yourselves to the front? If we can get in here or in here, these guys are stuffed. Oh, we've just got an overrun. Fantastic. Oh, come on. Yes. Reds, all of you. I don't care how many of you are there. That's 23 divisions. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. And they are kind of being pinned in because they're not actually losing. Well, no, they're winning, rather. The, uh, the, the third of national troops there. Well, they were winning. We've taken that port, so if we get in here, these guys are screwed. What we're going to do is we're just going to go in offensive. Land up a heavy tank. Heavy tank research. Might use that. Probably won't though. Come on, come on. Yes. Oh ha 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 ha. Kill them please. Nice wee encircling at Bologna. Not the first time we've done that. Certainly won't be the last. So that's six divisions there, 18, 24 divisions, that's good, that's a whole army there. Our greens are actually kind of pushing, although I don't know why they haven't decided to go in there. 
Like, that seems... Seems like it'd be a logical idea, then again, they're pushing down from there anyways. Once we kind of probably get them to simmer, yeah, we'll just simmer you guys. Just so... Yeah, we knew that the Chinese Union was going to lose. That was that was obvious. We've seen that last episode. They really do not... They didn't have the divisions to mount such an offensive. And since the... Uh, saying that, the Communists pushing in, but they're getting pushed back, so they're probably going to lose. And Australia's managed to land. With their... Between 1 to 27 divisions. Fantastic. They may have an army, they may have nothing. I'd like to think they actually have something. Because otherwise, well, what the hell are they doing? Right, what we're going to do is, the greens will stretch across the whole front. Uh, the reds, I feel like pushing in the north might be more beneficial for us. Because if we can get the two in, it'll probably kill them. And we might as well actually start considering a naval invasion of Marseille and Toulon. It's two ports side by side, why not try and land in both? We are actually almost done the landing craft, which means we could send over 24 at once. Obviously we don't have 24 right now, but we do have not enough equipment. I'm actually gonna just, well saying that, any tank, any tank is something we're struggling for. We'll probably simmer on you and that means we can actually get some more planes out as well and then anything extra like it's bulk can go into you're not actually building are you you've been going for ages we just need to focus on our military industry right now we have 77 civilian factories so i'm not worried about building any of them right now just grab all those i know they're a bit ahead of time but why not <coughs> Minecraft's done, isn't it? Well, at least we can send over the 13 at the same time. Right, so let's, let's mount an offensive. You weren't actually in position, were you? To be honest, we might actually go. Rather than Marseille and Toulouse. Nice. Right, hear me out here. If we can land 13 divisions in here, I can get probably some just to rush up here and maybe try and cut all these guys off in here. Fair enough, they'll still have the port here. But, you know, that's not going to be able to supply that whole area. Then again, the Italians are still going to get supply via their capital, but you know. Well, it might work. Let's go ahead and try and get this because it gives us five organization. I'll take it. It's nothing fancy. I'll take it though. I wish the Italians would stop pushing. Actually, some of them are my guys. Stop pushing. Stop pushing. Yes, there's no point in us trying to do that. To be honest, we could actually do two naval invasions. We could do two. It's going to take 84 days for that to prepare, so we're going to have to wait a little bit. But 24 divisions land in Marseille and Toulon, with 13 landing in Nice to basically counteract these guys. Because they'll be a distraction. They could probably cut off some of these guys. I mean, India's secured the north, which is fantastic. That means the, well, fantastic in the sense that the, you know, the Bharatiya commune's gone because, you know, Sydney's fucking them. I don't exactly have a lot of national spirits as the, I'm sorry, success at the seventh, whatever it is, I, I don't know how to say that. How was their success? We ended up killing everyone. Actually, no, killing Hungary. We didn't kill everyone. That was um, my Austrian Empire playthrough and the charity playthrough I was thinking of there. Oh, the Pope did actually lose some territory before. I'd like to say our fleet will be able to manage. It just depends how much of that French fleet is actually in play. Um, because as for Socialist Italy, I don't think their fleet exists. No, their fleet's only put for ships. Uh, as long as the Union of Britain also does not have ships in, but I don't think they will because they have a lot. Germany's fleet, however, probably non-existent. I think it may have been some. No, it is still alive as well. This is good. Continue to spend that army experience considering we still have absolutely tons of it. Absolutely tons. We cannot do that yet, I oh no, because we Do we actually need the heavy tank one? We do, we do. I would have rather have had you 
Open the Y requires mechanized cavalry. Oh, I feel like it should be, if you go down the middle, you get all of them. But oh well, we'll, we'll take the heavy tank one. Probably wouldn't use it, but... How many more days? Not too many more. Uh, take it, I'm actually dumping my, yeah, I'm dumping the sub straight on in. We're short of tungsten, that needs to be sorted out. What we shall do is we shall... We're going to split the fleet in two. Mainly because there's two naval invasions going, so I'd rather they're both covering a naval invasion each. Um, I'm going to ask for docking rights. Why can't I have docking rights? Strategic reasons, of course. Of course. You didn't have strategic reasons to hate me before, did you? That's annoying, because now I've got the... I'll actually have to wait for them to deploy themselves. Wait, what? What? Where are you going? Oh, they're actually going into this. Oh! That makes no sense. I don't actually have docking rights. I take a military... I thought mil... Oh, do you know what? I don't know. Don't know. I'm not going to complain. Stop complaining. This is... I thought you guys had finished the war. <coughs> oh my gosh. They, they must have pieced out again. I, I must have missed that. Absolutely nothing's changed. I wish I could do war propaganda again. That'd be nice. Ships are ready to go. Just waiting on you. Not too much longer to wait. Now this could come back to bite me right in the arse. Although I feel it necessary to try this because, well... Germans have managed to actually push slightly back in. They took part of Nancy back, this part right here. The bit in yellow. Took that back. Not much else though. Nothing else rather. They haven't really made any pushes either. And again, I, I do have to respect the fact that they are also fighting the Russians and they are doing a decent job of holding. Yeah, let's actually have a wee look and see what the casualties currently are in the Russian-German war. So, the German faction has lost a whopping 5.7 million. Germany's lost 2.7 million. That isn't great, considering they haven't really killed that many. Oh, that is the two point. They've only lost 160,000. But they really haven't killed many. Their allies are holding the Russians. Now, to me, that's feckin' embarrassing for the Russians. They can't even push through Lithuania and the United, uh, the United Baltic Duchy. And to make things even worse, Metal Africa has killed 434,000 of them. How has Metal Africa killed that many? They only have 20 to 40 divisions, so the Russians must really suck. Like, really suck. Like, really, really suck. I feel like we need to actually probably up some fuel storage. Just because our total is only at 248k. Now, all my planes are in the north, which is helping. And we actually have air dominance down here, thanks to our allies. The hell? Well, they're gonna die. I don't know why that's popped up. Don't know if it's like mil It's not even militias, I don't think. The new KUK army gives that modern army national spirit. Woohoo! Another national spirit to bring us up to five. Although one of these really isn't doing anything, it's just an icon. To be honest, those ones are still decent though, the ones we have, so can't complain. Are the naval invasions ready to go? They are. Well, this could come back to bite me horribly in the arse, or we're actually going to do really well. Um, Iran is kind of screwing me over the oil now, but that's fine. Portugal, do we not have any allies? We don't really, but I might actually just trade with the Russians, unless we still... Yeah, because we're using convoys for you. Actually, I don't want to really trade with the Russians. India! I think I went way over. Yeah, I went way over. There we go. And Germany for the steel. Here we go. Let's do this. Let's go, boys. Why aren't you away? Guys. Oh, the... I love your optimism, um, Canada and France. Um, I love it. However, you've kind of screwed my plan. I'll come and actually assist you, though. 
Did they just peace out until it? I was going to say, I thought I'd just seen them move. I was like, why have you done this? Doesn't matter. We have landed in Marseille. We've got our 13 divisions over there. It's now time for the offensive line to be drawn. Of course, the majority of these, half of these infantry, are going to push and try and get the to get the rest of the boys in. 13 divisions. Let's go. Sardinia, give me military access. Let's go, Entente. Let's go. Let's go. Get into the French. We're actually... Oh, no, no. They have, they have still... They are, that is still stacked. That is still stacked beyond belief. I'm just wondering... Oh, I was going to say, do we have a general that's actually got 13 capacity? 30 capacity, not 13. Uh, because that could actually be beneficial. Where's the red line going? It's disappeared, that's well. Go, boys! Go, go, go! Let's secure as much as southern... Do you know what time it is, actually? Hi there. Hi, hi there, Romania. Can I just have all of your divisions, please? Poland... No, not call the arms. Give me all your divisions. They actually have a, a lot of divisions to take. Holy balls. Like, I might as well just send these all to southern France. Oh my days, we're 134. Holy balls of fire. That is a lot of divisions. Can you come to here, please? Because if we can, we can send these guys out to southern France, and we can just run riot. Who's on? Who's? Well, you can have them back. Any more guys out with our territory? Yeah, but they're coming back. It's fine. Oh, no, stuff you guys. Yeah, stuff the guys that are away, because I'm not waiting for them. I honestly don't know why you have divisions over here. Look at them all coming. Oh my days. I don't want to go too insane with all them divisions just yet because the supply is not high enough for that. You could probably send over a 24, definitely. So. Oh my gosh, this is actually going to be bloody insane. Right. Doesn't really matter who's got control of you. On you go, boys. Get your ass over there and just start pushing. Start flinging yourself the wall. <coughs> it's not even... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. It's not really a wall. There's the equipment. A little bit longer to get it than expected, but... Still way ahead of time. Uh, do we still have... We still have divisions over here, which is fantastic. Uh, we'll just let those guys get away. That's going to be 26. We can just bend those. Oh, imagine the scenes over here soon. With all of these little divisions just popping up. I think that's all we'll send over for now, but oh my gosh, it's going to be going insane. It already is, let's be honest. It's it's already going fantastically well. Where's our, where's our navy, actually? Because uh, convoy escorting would seem more of the right choice right now. Convoy escort, convoy escort. The efficiency is terrible right now because they're not actually in the sea. Let's go, boys. I want a nice solid push here. We still, we've only lost 324k. Now, do you know what? That's pretty good going. How many of the Italians we killed? 409. We've actually killed most of the French and most of the Union of Britain. We are doing bits. And we've a hundred odd divisions coming over. Happy days for us, really. More divisions. Let's go. Let's go. I don't care how crap they are. Let's go. Let's push into Italy. To be honest. Why don't we just stack all them on there and just get them to push? You absolute idiot. Um do that. Do that.
Oh, it's glorious. Germany, you could learn a thing or two from me, mate. Just say Gosh, I may as well just betray you. Nah, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. But I shall be taking my fair share of France. Thank you. Like, I'm taking some of France. Like, when France is gone... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, the Anton. I, I'm taking some of your land. If you want to invade me, I'll fucking kill you. That's that's basically what's going to be happening. They're still holding us, but we do have more divisions over there, and we are getting close to actually cutting them off. Casualties are probably flat. I'm not saying that. No, they're not. Not really. <laughs> Unit Brands killed 88k. Oh gosh, this is. We're about to join up here. Oh my days. Just look at this. Curtis. Oh gosh, Iran is on the warpath. If only I had Turkey, I could intervene and invade both of them. This is how it's done. Look at this. Half of these troops aren't even mine at this point. Well, they are. They're my, my uh, biatches. <laughs> my subjects. That's probably the better way to call them, not my biatches. Although I'd, I'd really like the Socialist Republic of, you know, Italy to, you know, die now. Turin is right there. Oh. Right. Divisions. Do not... Okay! Well done, France. You've, you've done... You've finally bottled it. You've finally bottled it. Because there's so many mismatches here. The one downside to having all these bloody colours here. I can't just straight away say, Do you know what, guys? Just all you jump back on there. We, I, I feel like we need to have some divisions pushing this because, well just makes sense. I don't care that it says red. Stuff that. What about this is all going to the French Republic? It's like, mate, what did you even do? <laughs> this is me. This is all me. It's not all me, really. France is dying, though. France is dead. France is dying. Goodbye, farewell, and a farewell to these divisions as well. Italy's in a complete state now. We'll just bin that because we don't need you. Uh, by the looks of things, we need to go ahead and actually draw a new offensive line, which we shall draw just that. And that. Just pinks. I actually fancy our chances against the Russians right now without even all these divisions. Oh, masonly, because they're on, they're on extensive conscription and they've lost all their men. Turin's about to fall, which means these divisions are going to just crush those guys. Yep, goodbye, farewell. Yeah, goodbye, thank you for stopping by. Just got these trips here. Now, please tell me they. Oh no, the French coming has a. Oh ho ho ho! Right, well, you know what time it is now. Just gonna get our main divisions. We're gonna go ahead and go from. Belgium, Belgium, I mean Flanders, Flanders, can I just have an ultra access please? Because we are going to go from uh, Dunkirk to Dover, 24 divisions, and we're also going to take our green guys, which are also our divisions, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get these guys and put them in there, and take our green guys, Cherbourg, Line and Plymouth, and since now have military access through the Kingdom of Spain. Our navy. The two fleets come here. Yep, port please. You now have no official instructions. I want you both to head up there. You should be able to get through. You should be able to get through. You can, thank you. Yeah, they're on the way. Good, 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 good. 
So we just have to wait 84 days again. <coughs> Fuel is non-existent again. Fantastic. Uh, da, 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 da. So we'll take the air experience. We've got 500 air experience. I need to remember to actually like use XP to actually upgrade like tank variants and stuff a little bit more. Sorry, Pavel. Not looking so great, mate. Hopefully we can finish this war today. Might go a little bit over the, you know, the episode time limit, but if it means the end of this war, then go ahead. We'll go to 35 minutes. If it's a little bit longer than that, we'll just have to wait till next episode to wrap it up. <coughs> but it should be that long. It really shouldn't. If we get all 48 divisions over, you know, we're going to run riot because they only have like 50 divisions max. Oh, well, screw waiting. Convoy escort, please. We are out. Peace. Peace, peace, peace. We are over here to Dover. We're not moving out to anywhere else, though, because, well... Oh, actually, yes, we bloody are. We are getting over here. The Union is dying. Because they are, they are getting destroyed from everywhere. Let's go, boys. Are you coming over? Greens, greens. Are you a little bit camera shy? Yeah, get, get your ass over. Why do they have so many divisions down there? What are you playing at? Oh my gosh, they have a lot of divisions apparently now. Right, thank you, right. Do you want to get on that plan now? Thank you. Also the same. Just go. Probably actually be able to give... Yeah, we can give you some good stuff. Well, we can give you one piece of good stuff. We actually have a veteran division. Infantry. Expert, please, and guerrilla fighter. We're all aggressive. Are we just... Are we just ignoring those guys? London stacked. Yeah, they've really just spammed all divisions, which I feel is a little bit ridiculous. They've just spammed all like a hundred. But oh well. I guess it does need to be made a little bit harder than what it currently looks like. Oh, so for some reason, some of my divisions don't actually want to bloody fight. Oh yeah, we have the Germans out over here at Ipswich. Fantastic. And the lines have just broken. Actually, do you know what I should have done? I should have just drawn an actual... Oh no, they broke because the Canadians are here. We're just going to focus primarily on helping the Germans. The Canadians can stuff themselves. Really. Uh, considering we're probably going to end up at war with them. Maybe. Do you know, I really wish I could join the German faction like, And this is a mess. Ignore that. Our fleet needs to repair. Fleet, you don't need to be fighting anymore. Oh! Yeah, dock. Dock, dock, dock. You've done your job. There goes one of our big ships. Yeah, can you guys just peace out, please? Yeah, well done. Oh, then again, it's all with H stuff anyways, so do you know what? Thank you for giving me the chance to reform my navy. Which is something I don't really know if I'll need to do, really, unless I really do want to take on the Entente. London looks like it's going to be falling fairly soon. Oh, I don't know when Kaiser Wilhelm died. Kaiser Wilhelm II, that is. He must have... He was still around at the start of the episode, I'm sure. Still can't believe Russia's struggling, like, but... As soon as the Union of Britain's done... Oh, London's cut off. Brilliant. Um. How much have they got left? Yeah, London's gone. Capitulation-wise, halfway. We have almost killed a million of them. Do you know what? I think we've got the least casualties. Probably a bit, a bit of the war, like. That is insane. I can't believe we lost 2.4 million in France. Those guys are screwed in a second. They are screwed. They are screwed. Birmingham has been cut off. 
Where's you can bring planes over? I think we got dominance anyways. Yeah, we do in our area, which is good. I just wish we actually had some of it under our control. Glasgow's fallen, and it's been retaken. No, divisions, divisions. Focus up, boys. <laughs> that moment when Leeds is the capital of the Union of Britain. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We killed a million of them yet? Oh, we're getting there. I'm hoping we get it. I'd love to kill a million of them. I don't know how I'm going to give myself some land for this war. I feel I do deserve something. I have done. I have done 32% of the war. I've done more than Germany. I've done more than the whole German faction comp- Oh, no, I haven't. Getting a little bit too ahead of myself there. Um, tank trails, yeah, we'll, we'll need to sort armor out. I don't know how I'm going to divvy up the peace deal, though. Because um, Germany deserves some... The, the Entente, what's the Entente's total percentage of the war? 7, 11, 15, 16. 16%. Well, you can get 16% of the land then. Between us, that is. Uh, between them. They're not getting 16% like for all of them, no. Like, individually, not a chance. Canada, can you stop pushing and ballsing up my line, please? We're doing God's work here, right? Glasgow's now the capital. Glorious capital, that is. I'm just waiting for Inverness to become it. Oh, no, Glasgow's literally going to be the end of them. <coughs> oh, we have tons of political power. Nothing to spend on as such, though. Ha! Ah, we have cut them off, which means they're not going to start... Help take my... Eh, Liverpool, sorry. Liverpool might actually kill them. We're not going to kill a million by the looks of things, unless we get the kill... Oh, we've left that. I'm really hoping we do kill a million. Uh, medium tanks, medium tanks. Let's get back in the tanks. It's going to be close for the million casualties for them. I think once we secure Edinburgh, we might actually kill them. That's us. That's 37 divisions there. Why does the Union... No, why does the... There they go, they died. I don't know what the casualties were. Right. Time to pass and take all the score and then see what we can do. So... Italy, Italy, Italy. Now... Italy, I do just want to give it all to my Italy, of course, but I feel like we should. Where is our Italy? We shall give them Sardinia. Sardinia, well, Pedemont's territory, rather. I think I'm just going to give them all. My, my reasoning for this is, I, I think you can agree with this. That means we have half of Italy controlled, and also the Germans have half of it controlled. That is fair in my opinion. As for France, France is a tough one. Let's go ahead and actually do Iceland first. The Canadians can have Iceland. I, I care very little for Iceland. Right, um, as for Germany. Germany, well, the Norwegian Union, I'm gonna go ahead and give the Sweden. You'd be like, why on earth are you giving the Sweden? Because why the hell not? It means it's all gonna be under Russian control, but oh well. No, I'm thinking, do I just leave France and just take the, U uh, the UK? Germany, of course, well, like, to have. I do want to give the Entente something. I feel like giving them Southern France. Do you know what? I'm going to give Germany the choice. Germany's going to take all the land. They're going to get the choice on what they want to do with it, okay? They get all of that. As for the Union of Britain, I, I kind of want to give it to the Canadians. However, i done a lot of fighting. i done the most percentages of fighting. I'm taking the Union of Britain. That, that's my, that's mine. That is mine. We'll see what choice we get for it. We're not going to divide it. We're, we're going to create the, the UK. Create a loyal Britain. They do not get the focus tree, of course. 
but um, that's a beautiful UK we got there. Uh, let's just proceed and just see what else is going to happen. Nice, we actually finished in 35 minutes near enough. That's brilliant. I don't know how many of you is going to be happy with the fact that I took the UK, but... Oh, well, the Germans have decided to screw France. Well, that's fine by me. I gave them the choice. I gave them the choice. So, I guess all that remains now is really to take out Russia and anything else that happens. So, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, take care, and I'll see you all next time. Cheer bye, and then out.